Hey everybody, it's Chris and I'm back to do a really cute project with you today. So this one does not really involve pouring, but it is a really fun project to do with the upcoming holidays and really just the winter season. I mean, it doesn't even have to be a holiday thing. So I purchased these really super cute snowman stickers off of Amazon and you can see some of them have already been used because I did a little project with our three-year-old great niece this weekend and she loved it. And I was thinking, I have all these extra stickers and they are so stinking adorable when they're done. And I thought, what else could we do? So I thought it would be really cute to make some matching coasters to go along with it. So these are the cups that I purchased. They were purchased off of Amazon. I think 12 of them were maybe $20 if that. And they are kind of a nicer size for kiddos. They're only, I think, 10 ounces. And so what we did was just take some of the stickers and we applied them to the mugs just to make some fun little holiday mugs um, for her to give to the family members. So I'll show you just real quickly um, how easy this is. We always started with the carrot nose, of course. And these are not paper. They're kind of a vinyl adhesive and I will say that the picture that shows them on Amazon does show them on mugs and canisters. I don't think that they're going to be really long lasting if you don't hand wash them and I'm not even sure that they're going to stand up to the hand washing but I just think they're really really stinking cute. I think the whole set was like $12. Um, you get a ton of stickers for $12. We did I think nine mugs this weekend and I still have extras. But I thought it would be fun to do a little matching coaster to go along with them. So see, look, how isn't, isn't that stinking adorable? So there you have your mug. And then what I thought we would do with the coasters, I purchased these um, wooden coasters at Michael's. They are quite thick, which I thought was really kind of nice because that kind of gives you like a little space on the edge as well to do some things with. So I thought it would be really fun to coat these with some glitter and then um, kind of take it a few steps further, add a snowman face to it and then put some resin on top of it so that it's heat safe for like a little mug of hot cocoa. So I have already used the Bullseye 123 primer on these. Um, it was a set of four coasters and I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and show you guys how I'm gonna do one of them. I'm going to use some Loctite spray adhesive and I'm hoping to be able to spray the sides of it as well as the top. And then I'm going to use this extra fine glitter. I believe this is from Michaels. It's called Glitz. Um, it's a Recollections brand of glitter. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this with the Loctite adhesive and apply the glitter to it. And I have a little plate here, and I'm just gonna go ahead, put that on the plate. Okay. And then sprinkle the glitter on there. I thought this would be kind of a cute little snowy effect and kind of a cute little backdrop, if you will, for the coaster. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some to the side. Since it has a thick side, I think it's important to go ahead and, and put it on the side as well. And then we'll just set this aside to dry and then I'll show you how we're gonna do the next step. All right, so now I have these guys ready to get finished up and let me kind of bring you up to speed as to what I've done to get to this point. So I had applied the glitter. I let that dry for about 24 hours I then came back and I sprayed the entire surface with this Rust-Oleum clear gloss and made sure that the glitter was sealed down. And then I added the stickers. After I added the stickers from the sticker sheets, I came back in with this Quick Coat, which is a counterculture DIY product. And what this did was kind of seal down the stickers and it also, um, I applied it to the whole surface. So not only did it seal down the stickers so that the epoxy won't get underneath, but it also sealed down the glitter the rest of the way so that that won't be floating around in the surface of the epoxy. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, mix up my epoxy and get that ready to go. I'm using the counterculture DIY resin as well. 
And if you'd like to save $5 off of a $40 order, you can use the coupon CHRIS, K-R-I-S-S, and um, take advantage of these really great products. The Quick Coat has so many different uses that you can um, do with it. It's really a great product. All right, so I'm gonna mix up my resin according to directions, and then I'll be right back and show you how I resin these. So hold tight. Okay, so I have my resin all mixed up. I mixed it according to the manufacturer's directions. I apologize, I sound a little bit weird, but I have my respirator on. Um, I also have nitrile gloves on. Please make sure you're wearing nitrile gloves as well as a respirator. Um, resin can be kind of toxic and some people have really bad reactions to it. So please make sure that you're wearing protective equipment when you're working with this. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a generous amount of resin on the coaster. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spread this out with my popsicle stick. This is the same popsicle stick that I used to mix the resin up in my measuring cup. Um, if you're using the counterculture DIY, it's equal parts of part A and part B for the resin to mix that. And then, um, like I said, follow the manufacturer's directions, whichever resin that you choose to use. Now, one thing that you do want to look for in a resin that you're putting on coasters is be sh please be sure that it's heat safe. Not all resin is heat safe. Um, there are a couple of them out there that are not. And if you do use that on a coaster, you'll tend to have your hot cup sticking to the surface and it will leave a ring and kind of destroy your project. So please be sure you're using a resin that is heat safe. The counterculture is heat safe, I believe up to 500 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue putting the resin on these coasters. And once these are dry, I will add a cork backing to them since they have a wood surface on the back. I wanna make sure that it is protected against furniture so that we don't leave any marks on that. And then I'm gonna to continue to finish up resining these coasters. At the end of the video, I will put a picture of the finished project so that you can see the coaster and the cute little mugs that we made. I'll also put links down below for counterculture DIY, as well as the link for the stickers that I purchased on Amazon. Please remember, if you can't find those particular stickers, it's okay. You can find all kinds of cute stickers available on Amazon. So don't let that despair you from doing a super cute project. All right, and I will also put a link down below for the counterculture DIY in case you'd like to try that resin or the quick coat that I showed you that I used to um, coat these guys with. The quick coat can also be used to make some super cute ornaments with glitter. So like the little plastic ornaments you can put, um, or glass ones for that matter, you can put the quick coat inside the ornament and then shake glitter in there and shake it around and the quick coat will help it to stick to the sides of the ornament so that you that all of the mess is inside. So really super cute uses for the quick coat. So. I'll put links down below for everything, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.